world oh sit properly we all have paintings like this um and you can see it's all cracked um so <laughs> i'm actually going to show the the, the process of making this and what happened at the end but I'm going to do the time lapse first to show you how I'm going to attempt to fix it <laughs> I say attempt because I'm not quite sure yet but there's something about this painting that I think could be the best of the lot um it's got movement, it's got freedom, it's flowing. Um, and, and I think it's got potential. So, as I said, we've all got paintings like this that crap. I, I, I don't know how to use this golden, the, the high flow, even the copper and the gold. There's, I mean, little bits, there's a gorgeous little tree here. It is so lovely and you'll see when I do the painting after this there's there's a point in the video that it, it does look really nice but I just push it too far and I end up uh, tilting swiping tilting swiping tilting balloon rolling to try and make it work and obviously I don't know whether I don't know whether it's a reaction with the titanium white high flow on the PVA background. I, I don't know. It dries at different rates. I don't know. Perhaps somebody could tell me. So, anyway, this is me trying to fix it. And all I'm going to do initially, I expect to be doing this over a few days. So I'll speed bits up, slow bits down when I'm going to talk, etc, etc. Hopefully it won't be too long a video. Um, but I'm going to take this high flow and I'm just going to apologise about the state of my nails. This is paint, it's not dirt. It's locked down in the UK and I can't get to get my nails done for another two weeks, which I might have to cut them all down. So anyway... I'm going to put some on my finger and I'm literally going to put it over the cracks. Now this isn't going to get rid of the cracks but it is going to knock them back because I do probably want some of them to show oh, without, <laughs> without spilling it everywhere. Oh, what am I like? Bish bash bosh as usual. So obviously the texture of the cracks will show. But I do want to use, highlight some of them. Not quite sure how I'm going to do that. I tend to make these things up as I go along. So there's nothing more that I enjoy doing than, well, obviously painting, <laughs> um, eating, drinking wine, <laughs> spending time with your family. Of course, there's more things you enjoy doing, but it is so relaxing actually to do this because I'm on season four of The Crown. And um, I like, <laughs> I'm going to be putting it on, on my iPad in a minute when I finish talking so that I can just relax, take my time, just create some art and just hopefully create a beautiful painting. Now you can see already that it's beginning to knock those shapes back. 
I wonder what it would look like up here. Because you can blend it in with your finger. I'll just leave that bit there to see how that dries. okay anyway so i'm going to carry on doing this for a little bit and then um see how we get on So, I've used my finger, still fluid art isn't it, <laughs> um, and put the um, the paint in the white fluid paint where I want it to. My, the next stage for me is to um, get my Stay Wet palette. If you've not used one of these before, well you wouldn't if you, if you don't need to keep your paints dry, wet. Um, it's, it's just simply a tray um, and you can buy blotting paper to go in the bottom. This is just kitchen, kitchen roll. Move this out of the way. Um, <clears throat> and all that I do is I put some water in. You always need a little bit more water than what you think. Because you can always pull the excess off. And then this is a bit of grease proof paper. It's a little bit thicker than normal grease proof paper. I've tried normal cooking paper before and it doesn't really kind of work. Anyway, there's a, there's a kind of like, there's two sides. There's a smooth side and a rough side. I put the smooth side down. I don't know if that's right or not, wrong really. But there you go. Perhaps it doesn't matter. And it's got to lit. So I will mix my colours up with a pellet knife onto a tile. This is a big one. I have to hunt my small one down in a minute. And then I will transfer it onto here, put the lid on. And I know that that's going to be good for a couple of days, if not longer. So, where's my paper tip? What I'm going to do is I am going to mix up some grey. Probably a little bit darker than this grey here that you can see in the cracks. Or maybe the same colour, maybe a couple of shades. And I can start to see already some lines that I can start to pull out. Um, this interesting flower shape here and here and a couple down here um so this is why you need to stand back from the painting and let ideas develop they don't always develop all, uh, all at once for me so we'll see how we go next stage
So I've just, I'm going to stop there for the day. Um, you get a bit fed up of doing it after a while. <laughs> but, I, oh, I'm loving this. This is by far my favourite out of the four. Um, but look at that sky. Can you see it's glistening? Anyway, um, it's got more work to be done on it, but I just want to quickly explain. Um, again, stand back, look at your painting. You can get too close to it sometimes. And when you're doing an acrylic painting, normally you put it on the easel, you lose, if you want it to be loose and free, you'd, you'd use a long brush and you'd be holding your arm at length and rather than close up and going into a lot of detail, which is what I'm doing here. Um, but just through here, I think it needs a little bit more darkness. Um, and just through here, darken up the corner. It's good to darken a corner of a painting because it draws your eye in. And also just to concentrate on the whites. So you concentrate on your whitest whites and your darkest darks so that everything in between has the right uh, depth. You create in depth, basically. Um, and it's not all one tone. It's just through here. I'm going to put some more dark bits in. And then more highlights. I have a big tub of heavy body tit golden titanium white for this kind of job, because it does the trick. And um, I might even go in with my white pens i don't know yet but anyway so far <laughs> i'm really pleased finished painting I'm really glad that I persevered with this I was horrified with it but I just I don't want to give up and if I can think if I can make something of a painting with a brush and with some ink or with some paints or whatever I will I will really give it a go so I love the movement at the bottom um, the dark bits here kind of create a bit of a, a land a solid base for your eye to look at there's a dark corner down here to draw your eye in there's things going on here that are quite complex to draw your eye away from the cracks that are never going to disappear but somehow i love this wispiness that you know where the high flows dried it's kind of created a bit of a snowy well it's a snowy feel isn't it and look at that sky that pearl white my favorite color It just reminds me of, well, that pic, it does remind me of the picture that Heather sent me as reference. So I hope you enjoyed this video. It's a bit topsy-turvy because next will come the fluid art bit <laughs> and you'll see exactly what went wrong and when it went wrong. Thanks for watching. <laughs>